to my channel. It's been a really long time. Things have been pretty hectic since I got back from California, and that's what this video is all about. I got back from VidCon two, three or four weeks ago. Three or four weeks ago. And it was my first VidCon, and it was awesome and really, really amazing to see all the people in our community come together for one big event. But it was also pretty overwhelming, and I will get into that more because this I'm pretty sure like 18 people are coming in and out of my house right now. <sighs> anyway, this video is my VidCon experience. When I first got to VidCon, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I've watched a lot of vlogs, but you never really know what your experience is going to be like because it's all different. Um, the first day we got there, we went to register and we got our badges and it was really quick and easy, which I really loved. I would recommend going to register the day before instead of the morning of, because the morning of there was a huge line to get into the building just from the start. I got to meet one of my best internet friends that day on the first day, Ashley, so shout out to Ashley. Um, and it was just really amazing. I mean, like, I was kind of overwhelmed. Like, when I walked up, I was like, holy crap, I'm actually here. And it was my first time there, so I just, like, got all emotional and all the feels. When I talk about meeting YouTubers, I might not use their name depending on the situation because I don't want to like, you know, expose anybody or I don't want this video to be like, oh my god, no way, like she did this or he did that. No, I'm not going to talk about their names unless it was a really, really good situation or I feel comfortable with it. So yeah, I will not use names unless it's a great situation, it was a meetup, it was awesome. But you do have encountered with people who you think are going to be the same in real life as they are on the internet and they're not so I had my encounter of that and one really stuck with me but I mean it could have been they were having a bad day or whatever but meeting youtubers as I talked to them throughout this video I may or may not use their names just giving you a heads up I'm not about that the food trucks had the best grilled cheese there was a grilled cheese food truck and I swear my best friend got one every single day and when she didn't she was so mad if she didn't get her grilled cheese it was the funniest thing but yeah, the first night was a really big success. We, you know, got there and chilled out and we met our friends and that was really like the biggest part of me going. Like I wanted to get in touch with people that feel the same way about YouTube as I do. So then we went to sleep because we had been traveling for a whole day because our flight got canceled at first because of weather and it never rained. I haven't done a long flight since I was like seven to Italy so I was kind of getting a little anxious on the flight to Las Vegas so that whole night I was just you know not feeling my best because I just got off the plane um so we got in line the first day because there was a line around the door and we got into the convention center and it was so awesome it was overwhelming as I walked in I was like this is really overwhelming and the part that was overwhelming is because I being a big YouTube person and like supporting a lot of channels everywhere I looked I kind of knew someone from somewhere but the first day I think the first thing we did was we went to go see a girl love panel which I really 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 enjoyed Lily Singh as aka superwoman started this movement called girl love and it's talking about how girls shouldn't bash each other and how girls should compliment each other and be nice to each other and that panel was awesome it had a bunch of her friends on it who I also watched they were really really awesome so that was really cool I got to be there and immediately I I knew that this was going to be overwhelming because I, being a person that loves so many creators, wanted to do everything and there were so many things that overlapped each other so it was like a little bit difficult for me. And plus, me and my best friend, as much as we have so much in common, we also watch completely different people too. So I wound up making a lot more friends at VidCon than I went to panels with when my friend had to go to other panels. So it was really, really nice. And everyone at VidCon was so, so, so nice. Everyone you ran into, you know, smiled at you or said hi or made conversation or asked you like, who are you here to see or what do you do or do you have a channel? And everyone was just incredibly nice and I met so many, so many great people that I got numbers, Twitters, Instagrams, like we all keep in touch. So the first day was like panels and I walked around the convention center and we did that. I went to Joy Graceffa's booth, which was awesome and I bought a lot of that like I'm not even gonna lie I probably spent most of my money on that and I did really good like I didn't buy a lot which I was kind of disappointed about but the only time I bought like clothes was it's really cold inside like the Kia main stage or the hall it's freezing like I was in these actually I was in my overalls and their shorts and I was freezing I had to go and buy um a Danville jumper and I think uh in team internet 
a baseball tee because I was like freezing waiting for panels and I did wait for certain panels for a long time because I wanted a good seat to them. But overall, yeah, make sure you have a big group because um, my best friend was saving a seat for one panel, I saved me a seat for saving a seat for another panel, and it was really, really helpful that we both had, you know, places to be. So the first day of the convention was over, it was crazy. Then we realized that our friends were staying in Hilton, but we couldn't get in because we didn't have a room key. So to get into the Hilton, you had to have a room key per person, which I kind of understand because of security measures. But we had, like, mostly everyone in our group had a room key for the Hilton. We couldn't book one because they, they were all booked by the time we planned to go. So we just wanted to hang out. We weren't trying to cause any trouble, you know. We were being really sweet. Like, we understood we weren't trying to meet anybody. If we ran into someone, then that was just a plus. But we had friends in the Hilton, and we just really wanted to, like, talk to them and hang out with them. We were tired. It was, like, after a full day of the convention. And our hotel room wasn't that far, but it was, like, a good, like, two or three blocks, maybe. Not even. But, um, so we just wanted to, like meet up, catch up with our friends and if you're nice to security it's not like they're going to give you special treatment but it helps your cause so like we were the only pre me and my best friend were the only ones that didn't have a room key so we just stayed in the lobby instead of going up to the elevators and stuff and we caught up with our friends there and we did we went back later that night after dinner and the whole place is swarming with big youtubers i loved and i was like freaking out i was getting like Super excited. I was with my internet friends. It was like the best thing ever. Um, I met a lot of people that night. Um, Jim Chapman, Rice Gum, I actually ran into. And I didn't get a selfie with Rice Gum. I got a video of him for my brother. Um, who else? Hazel Hayes, Jonathan from Sakoni Jolie's. And he was really sweet. I also had his meetup. Um, Brody Smith from The Amazing Race. And he also does the Frisbees. And he's like really talented. Um, I saw Joe Sugg and I actually, you know, had, you know, went up to him and said hi, but the security wouldn't let us get a picture, so he just kind of like waved by. That was really cool. I look up to Joe a lot because of his accents and his impersonations, which I find hilarious, and I am trying to get better at them so I can film a video like that, but uh, right now I don't think they're, they're worthy to be shown on the internet yet. <laughs> um, that was really awesome and we actually got to talk to some youtubers who were tipsy they were a little bit drunk and i made sure like anything they said did not leave like where i heard it because there are people that will like make whole videos about like i bumped into this youtuber and she was drunk and this is what she said about this and like yes we did talk to some youtubers for a good amount of time because we um really wanted to like talk to them instead of you know quick selfie bye like I really always wanted to talk to them and unless you didn't have the opportunity to unless they were in a rush and they said can we just get a selfie and I would agree obviously but I just have to think that I would hope that one day I was at their level of success so I wanted to learn from them rather than you know tell them they're cute or scream in their face or I don't know but we did get to talk to some youtubers for a pretty long time and a lot of them were so so nice and some of them surprised me about how they are in real life but maybe they were just having a bad day and I met so many people that night that I went home and I was like did that happen is this like real and I crashed it was like we came home late I mean around 1 12 31 and that's not that late for some people but you know for us we had like a full day and we were just out so the next morning um, was the second day of the convention, and that was really, really fun. Um, that day, I think, was our biggest panel day. Like, we really sat down and watched a lot of panels, and we did a lot of things, and um, it was just really overwhelming at times. And the second day, I think, got to me the most. Like, my mood kind of changed a little bit because I was having, like, this fear of missing FOMO. I was having, like, fear of missing out on things, and then if we didn't make this, t this panel at this time, and the room was already full, and, like, it just got to me like my anxiety was really bad the second day I you could all tell like it was just very very bad and being in groups and big crowds don't really phase me that much yeah it gives me a little bit of anxiety but being in VidCon the second day and having so much to do really hit me anxiety wise I had to like stop a couple times and you know take a deep breath because there were so many people that like I was meeting internet friends people that were like hey you're from Twitter hey and I was just like hi like I wanted to talk to everybody and then there was panels and I didn't get to go to some panels and because there was other panels going on it was just really chaotic but I had to learn that like it's okay if you don't get to do everything it's okay if you don't miss anything um 
And then we got to, you know, Colleen came and did a Q&A with Miranda and Colleen. And that was awesome. Um, that night, um, I was kind of like really full of anxiety. I didn't feel like going into the Hilton, which, I mean, I didn't need to do it every night. Like, I wasn't, a, I wanted to meet people, but if, you know, not, I didn't go places just to meet people. Um, but, so my anxiety was really bad. So we wound up just leaving the VidCon area and we wound up going to the packing district. For dinner and that was really awesome we had these drinks that i will put pictures right here and i had like a strawberry lemonade with boba and then they put like a cloud of kind candy around and sprinkle it with fruity pebbles and it was really really awesome if you're like from california and you know exactly what it is please tell me <laughs> because i don't remember the name of the place i got it <laughs> um but that was really cool and it was really nice to get out of vidcon for the night and we went to downtown disney and we looked in some shops and that was really really nice um, because you know we never I've never been to California before um, my best friend had but it was nice to like go out then the third day of it kind of the last day I was I woke up that morning and I was like so sad I just didn't want it to be over it was like I was really sad that it was a third day but um, the third day was like jam-packed so you didn't have time to be sad I had all of my meetups that day and I actually um only got two meetups. I got Marcus Butler and Fun for Louie, which I was so ecstatic about. I love both of them, especially Louie's channel. His travel channel, he vlogs, for those of you who do not know, and he travels the world, and it, his vlogs are amazing. I mean, one of the top YouTubers I look up to. He's a really great creator, and I love him. And to be able to meet him was insane. He was so nice, and he was one of the creators that really stopped at a meetup and asked you, how was VidCon doing, and how are you? And it was incredibly sweet I loved him um, I also had Marcus Butler as a meetup and while I was in line for Starbucks one of the days a girl came up to me and asked me if I like the Saucony Jolies and I was like yeah I love the Saucony Jolies and gave me a wristband now you're not supposed to trade wristbands but this wristband I don't know how she did it was like brand new like she did she didn't put it on or anything so I put it on my wrist and I wound up meeting the Saucony Jolies which is so so sweet Anna was the sweetest person she complimented my outfit and I told her I loved her jewelry and I ordered one I'm not wearing it right now but I didn't um, take it out of the package um they were sweet genuine people and after all they've been through these couple months it was nice to see them smiling and talking to fans and they're just really great people I waited a long time for the first time I hit upload panel with Dan and Phil, Marcus Butler, Jenna Marbles, and Flula, and I was really excited. I had front row seats, and that panel, even though, like, you know, everyone was there for, like, their certain person, they were screaming, that panel was really, really insightful. Is that a word? Yeah. Because it helped a lot, because for uh, starting YouTube, like me and other people there, it was nice to know that they made the same mistakes that we do or like they edit like badly the same way that we did and they are still where they're at and that was really nice to see um yes i was excited i got to see dan and phil but that was not the whole point i actually really enjoyed the panel and i listened to everyone and everyone they were saying also side note flula is hilarious i love him his character if that is a character i don't know he's hilarious um i went to that panel i went to the book club panel I think it was talking about books and Tyler Oakley and Grace Helbig. Grace Helbig is gorgeous up close like gorgeous. I wish I had a chance to meet her but I didn't. Um, that was really really cool. So after the last day we started to you know head back like to our hotel. We stayed there for a little bit you know chilled out. I was so sad it was over. I was like this cannot be happening because I've been looking forward to it for so many months. So then the creator party was that night, the Maker Studios party I think it was, at the Claritin and my friend was staying at the Claritin. She was like, hey guys, do you want to watch like the YouTubers walk in? Like we were just going to watch like. And then as we were walking up, um, we seen a lot of people and I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> another little fangirl moment. And I was like, I really didn't want to ask a lot of people for, you know, a picture or to say hi because they were trying to get in the party and I'm not about like holding them up. But then as we were walking in to meet my friend, I saw Louise sprinkle glitter and Marie bits and clips and I kind of lost it. I have never ever got that like shocked and excited to see someone but her and I was kind of like and I was like maybe you shouldn't go up and say hi they're trying to get in the party I feel really bad and as I, this was going through my mind I did not realize my feet we're already halfway to them. Like, my feet just darted. Like, it was just like an instinct. Like, 
go say hi and you could tell like they were in line trying to get the party and I went up to Louise and I said can we get a picture and I shouldn't have said can we get a picture I should have talked but my I actually got really nervous and like I don't know why but I feel like the picture was the only thing she would have time for because um she was trying to get in the party and I turned to Marie and I was like of course you need to be in the picture I'm fans of both of you and so we got the picture, Louise was super sweet, I said, you know, have a great night, I really love you, blah blah blah. She walked away. I started to like, cry, like, I wasn't like, bawling, but like, I had tears in my eyes, I was like, did that just happen? Like, I'm so in shock right now, because I watched Louise for a long time, and her messages about, you know, everything, positivity, um, loving your own body, everything, her clothing line is gorgeous, um, her daughter is the cutest thing ever she's hilarious I mean hilarious I just look up to her so much as a person and I couldn't believe that I actually came face to face with her I was like what what so I didn't get to say everything I wanted to so I tweeted her and I just thought if I didn't get the chance to say these things in real life maybe Twitter can help me out and I tweeted her and Marie bits and clips liked it first and I was like oh my gosh she liked it and I was totally happy with that I was like as long as one of them got to read it it was really sweet then Louise responded to me then Louise responded to me what what <laughs> Lu Louise responded to me and I was like shaking I was like no way she read this and I didn't care about the response I just cared that she read it and that she took the time to not like it and not retweet it but just to like respond was the sweetest thing ever and here was her response and the picture I will put it right here or here either side whatever it was a crazy moment for me because you know that was a real fangirly moment for me and I also ran into Ricky Dillon that night Jim Chapman again, um, Anna from the Sakoni Jolies, I think Jonathan was there too, I said hi to Anna. Um, who else? Oh, did I say Ricky Dillon? I think I said Ricky Dillon. Candy Johnson, who was a sweetheart, I loved Candy Johnson. So Candy Johnson was such a sweet, kind-hearted person. She actually, when I seen her, I didn't ask for a selfie, um, I said to my friend, hey, there's Candy Johnson. And Candy waved us over and was like, can we get a selfie? She was just so sweet. like. That was Ricky Dillon. Those two, we met back to back, and they were two sweet, really sweet people. Um, we did have an experience of a YouTuber, a fairly big YouTuber, which I'm not going to name, and I'm not going to go into detail because I don't like drama. But I am going to tell the story because in case any of you encounter your favorite YouTuber and they're not as nice as you thought they were, they're not a good person, or they're having a bad day, just stay positive about it. But we did see a big youtuber who was standing outside the hotel and you know my friend we were on the other side of the street talking to our internet friends catching up you know we turned around and they were standing there and um my friend was like i'm gonna go ask for a picture they were waiting for an uber so they weren't doing anything and they were just having a slight conversation and my friend very calmly and not making big scenes so she kind of whispered it was like hi air name and she was like can we have a picture and this person looked my friend in the eye blatantly looked and I could see if you didn't want a picture we just say hey I'm not feeling it right now thanks though I appreciate you and then turn away but this person looked my friend directly in the eye and then turned her back to her now there was another fairly big youtuber with her too who stepped up and asked if she could take a selfie with my friend instead of dead of the other youtuber because um, of what she just did she just kind of like turned her back fully to a wall and I was like oh you know maybe she wasn't feeling it like I don't know but if you know my friend was just very distraught about it because obviously you know you look up to them for so long and if they don't want to take a, a picture with you but you could have said that you know what I mean like you could have been like hey not right now or no or something that would indicate like I'm not feeling it right now which would be totally fine they have that ability you can say no to a selfie which is totally fine and I would not have been mad at all I would have not cared if someone said no to me I would have smiled said feel better just love your stuff that's it but she did it two more times in different ways to three different people who calmly walked up not making a scene no one was mobbing her asked for a picture she pretended to be on the phone one time she turned her back she ignored a person and I was just like what I was like if I had the honor I'm gonna say honor because I can't think of any other word of being successful and having 
people who actually care come up and ask me, you know, like, can I have a picture? I love your, I would be ecstatic. And yes, there's probably going to be days if that happens where they don't want to. And that's fine. That is um, completely amazingly fine. Just indicate that to a person because the fans that walked away, yes, they got a picture with the other YouTuber who was so sweet and stepped up to do that. But I don't know, like they just, they just seemed disappointed and you're allowed to be disappointed. You know, you don't have to take a picture with everyone, but tell them that, like maybe say, hey, not in the mood. That's it. So that was the only really bad encounter I had with YouTuber. Others seemed kind of like, you know, let's get this over with and you know, whatever. But that was the only really bad encounter I had. Everyone else was so nice and so sweet. And I, um, anything else? Now, I am going to say something. I was supposed to vlog VidCon. I was 100% had all intentions of going and vlogged. I vlogged the whole travel process getting over to VidCon and then when I got to VidCon and I met the first YouTuber that I met like randomly ran into I said I turned around and I was like I see this every year in every vlog. I look at it through a screen. I look at their face through a screen. I looked at VidCon for through a screen for years and now in here, I'm not going to look at it through a screen because I constantly had, you know, a camera or my phone or I'm not going to look at it through a screen anymore because I'm here. And that was my big thing because I thought 100% that I would want to vlog and want to have these memories and getting there, I didn't. I looked at that through a screen for so many years and I'm here. Like, I decided not to vlog and that's okay and I have, you know, my travel video which I might put together in a big montage because I did film some clips inside the convention center. I did not film, you know, meeting YouTubers, I did not film panels and that's okay because I just had to think like, here's your one opportunity, there they all are. Don't look at it through a screen. Don't. And if you don't want to vlog VidCon, it was my first VidCon and if you are going to VidCon for the first time, don't vlog it, just enjoy it. Next year, I totally will vlog. And I'm saying that now, but I might not. <laughs> but I totally will vlog because I'll have I'll know what everything is, and I have seen these people and experienced it in real life. So that was a big thing for me, the vlogging. Um, and after VidCon, we did stay in California for one more day. That was really fun. We went to the Warner Brothers Studio tour. Overall, VidCon was amazing. Even with you know the screaming girls and everything, it was amazing. I loved it. I wouldn't have traded that trip for anything in the world. I'm already planning on going back next year. It's definite. I'm definitely going back next year. Um, we have everything signed off on. My parents agreed. We're both going back next year. So if you're going to be at VidCon next year, me too. Let's meet up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely am trying to go to more YouTube creator based events like Playlist. I'm kind of hoping to go to Playlist. It's on the rocks right now. But I'm kind of hoping to get a playlist uh, if it's the same time as my break. If it's not, then I'd have to miss like a week of school. So, um, But yeah, that was my VidCon experience. It was nuts. There's a lot more stories that I have, but maybe, you know, I'll keep them for down the road. I just didn't want to like, with all the drama going on in the community, bring anything new up. Um, because, you know, they do deserve privacy, no matter if it's good or bad. They deserve their privacy. Um... Any other things that I want to add in? My internet friends. I'm just going to close this video by talking a little bit about internet friends. I got to meet my closest internet friends at VidCon, and it was the highlight of my trip. Honestly, to see them all, especially some, <laughs> were the highlight of my trip, and meet people. Meet people on the online. You know, be safe about it, and, you know, don't go on shady websites or, you know, video chat with them that's what i always say if they don't want to video chat that's kind of weird please video chat with your friends before you meet them you know meet them have fun talk to people at vidcon meet people there i have so many friends from all over now and i'm so grateful for it and yeah that was my vidcon experience i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was like just a tad bit entertaining <laughs> but um yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you've ever been to VidCon. Again, I just want to say thank you to everyone I met on the trip. It was super fun and I will see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video and until next year, VidCon 2017.
Bye!